You know, there was times in prison where I, I would get close to guys, and then six months later, we would, uh, if sometimes even a year, we would get the kite sent in from another prison. Pretty much like a prison mail that goes underneath, you know, the guards and everything, nobody sees it. Uh, that's a kite. And we would get his le legal history, and it would break my heart to see what he was there for. And to see who had became my friend, you know, in those in those months, eating together, working out, being on the yard, walking for hours. Now, because he's my friend, I have to take him off the yard. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing. I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right. I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone. I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, your familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Super tell us about because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong and Strong. It is Saturday, yeah, welcome back. Thank you Jesus for my salvation. Thank you for today. Most people know what what happened to me as a kid. I really haven't went into detail about it, but it, it was dr dramatic for me. For years, I had a chip on my shoulder about it. I, I had a lot of anger towards, towards God, towards him, towards my mom, towards my sisters, towards my family, just, just everybody in general. These crimes were very sensitive to me as of 98 percent of the population in the prison uh, so when we would get bad news like this it, it was hell to, to pay because i felt like it was happening all over again to me you know i was trusting all over again and i was getting hurt by somebody like this but today you know today i sit here and i, I think about the glory of his forgiveness like how he forgave me and how he wants to forgive all his children pretty much. The reality sets in that this man's sin could happen again. So what, what would Jesus do? <laughs> That's my number one question all the time. <laughs> if this man committed this crime, this sin in Jesus' time and back in the day, what would Jesus do? The best question is, what should we do like today in this time? Should we lock the doors to the church when certain type of sinners get out of their cars? <laughs> you know, or warn all the uh, the people in the church that, you know, who's coming? Forgive and forget, right? Easier said than done. Or the famous saying in, in church, everyone is welcome. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's easier said than done. Because when everyone includes everyone, that's when it gets real. That's when it really gets real. It's like I tell the guys in prison, you know, the real test is once you walk past that gate. There's, there's, there's rules and regulations in there that can't be broken, can't be bent. But once you walk past that gate, that release gate, a lot of doors are open, a lot of, a lot of doors. <laughs> Good and bad. But what, what makes me 
What makes me a better a, a, a better sinner? Is it because I only sold drugs and try to kill people when they try to work against me? Or is it the white collar crime dude that stole $2 million from, from accounts? But he stole from rich, so that's really not stealing. We, we are all sinners. Just because your sin is not mine, does it make it any better, cooler? It's just, it don't work like that. Everybody is a sinner. And the more you stay real with the boss and yourself, discipline, there goes that word again, discipline yourself on daily basis to stay close to him, study, read. In the days to come, I want to wrestle with this question more, me personally, by speaking directly to, to people who have committed these sins of abuse. Gerardo Aguilar, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you and I, I love you. And know that Jesus loves you. The movie, The, the Shack, it really showed me what love is. Like Jesus. To be more like him and less like me is the end goal of my, my walk. To do what Jesus did means to be full of grace and truth. It means being those true Christians who care for the least of those without watering down like undeserved love while holding the higher standards of truth. And healthy boundaries too. Remember, hurt people hurt people. If you were raised in a dysfunctional home with physical abuse, threats, uh, degrading words, uh, on the on the daily like the the abuse can easily turn into the abusers i'm telling you by experience look around at the people that god has placed in your life they can help you heal there is healing power in the people of god they in turn pray for you let God do what he does best. Healing wounds and changing behaviors. Yes, there might be some consequences to the truth coming out. It's the best step you could ever take. You can stop the cycle. Your family tree can change. It's just a matter of, are you ready? Pray with me, please. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. My name's JC, all in his name, all in his glory. Pick up your Bible, listen to the word, study it, read it, dissect it, walk it, show it. Just watch, just watch what he could do in your life, man. Hey, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.